What is blow molding and how does it work? Almost every manufacturing industry uses blow molding technology to make bottles, containers, and other packaging components. This method is accurate and well suited for both low and high volume production runs. Now let's delve deeper into blow molding. What is blow molding? Blow molding is a plastic manufacturing process that involves blowing heated plastic material into a mold cavity to create hollow objects. It works in similar ways to, to the conventional glass blowing technique. The first step in blow molding is to melt and shape the plastic into a hollow tube known as a parison or preform. The parison is then placed in between the molds and pressurized air is applied to stretch it over the mold cavity. The final part takes the shape of the mold as it cools and solidifies. Okay, you've learned how blow molding works. Let's now explore the different types of blow molding technologies. There are three types of blow molding techniques. Injection blow molding, extrusion blow molding, and injection stretch blow molding. Injection blow molding involves injecting the molten plastic upward into a split mold cavity to form the parison. The blow mold then opens to receive the parison. As the blow mold closes, the parison takes the shape of the mold as compressed air is applied. Extrusion blow molding is the most common of all the three types. In this type, you melt the plastic in an extruder to form the parison, which is extruded downward into the mold. As the mold closes, the blowing sequence begins to give the final part. Injection stretch blow molding is different from the two just described. It is a two-stage process that combines elements of injection molding and blow molding. The first stage involves the formation of the preform using the injection molding process. Thereafter, store the preform until you are ready to use it. Preheat the preform and transfer it to the blowing mold. Longitudinally stretch and circumferentially blow it to the desired shape. Blow molding is a widely used plastic molding process. To gain a deeper understanding, let's explore the advantages and disadvantages of blow molding. The leading advantage of blow molding is its high production efficiency as it is automated which enhances its suitability for mass production of plastic components. Additionally, blow molding is versatile. It can work with a wide range of polymers including ABS, polypropylene, polystyrene, and many more. Most importantly, blow molding is a relatively inexpensive process with its low tooling and die costs. Additionally, it has lower energy requirements when compared to injection molding. Nevertheless, the molding technique comes with a few shortcomings, with the most cogent being it generates a significant amount of waste, which makes it less eco-friendly. Well, do you know where blow molding is used? Blow molding is mainly used for packaging materials across industries including containers used for food and beverages, droppers and pill bottles in the pharmaceutical realm, bins and storage containers for waste management, and fancy bottles for beauty products. However, there is more to blow molding than bottles and containers. It also has uses when manufacturing automotive components, including fuel tanks, radiators, shock absorber dust covers, etc. When comparing blow molding and injection molding, they have significant differences. Let's break it down. They differ based on the processes involved, cost, the need for post-processing, material compatibility, and the production of thin-walled parts. The molding process of both techniques differs. Unlike blow molding, injection molding involves heating a plastic material and injecting it directly into the mold. The final part takes the shape of the mold as it solidifies. Their most significant difference lies in their applications. Blow molding is suitable for hollow and thin walled parts. However, injection molding is better for rigid and solid parts such as bottle caps, toys, electrical connectors, etc. Lastly, both molding processes are compatible with many engineering plastics. However, blow molding is ideal for soft and flexible materials, while injection molding works with harder ones like acrylic and acetal better. All right, that wraps up today's video. Remember, when considering blow molding for your product, it's essential to factor in aspects like design, materials, applications, and production costs. And if you're looking for a reliable partner to guide you through the process and make the right choice, look no further than Rapid Direct. Did you find this video helpful? Don't forget to like and subscribe to support us. We'll continue to make more manufacturing and engineering videos.